Good morning, good morning, good morning. <laughs> Howdy doody, oh, welcome to my channel. Welcome to my channel. I found our singing thriller, thriller night. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, don't. It's that bloody like gone past Halloween. Maybe that's what they're all looking like, the exes. <laughs> You never know. I've been getting a lot of Michael Jackson lately, so I'm not covering up my boobage, although they look ginormous because I've got a padded top on. They look like Pam Ranson, mate. She wishes. Anyway, I hope you're right. I'm having a fag. Go and get your cigarettes. Cigarettes to the Americans. <laughs> Go and get your fags. You'll be grabbing off men off the street. <laughs> Right, get your cat, get your dog, get your nan, get whoever. Go and get your neighbours. Go and get your neighbours, dog. Right, literally. Oh, don't. I come in. Ah, coffee tub. I went out yet yeah, with Karma today. I got a new lead. It's a waste one. I had to get it. Didn't care. Oh. So anyway, because my XL bully is massive if you haven't seen him. So anyway, I've got one of them um, bungee ones so you can pull. And you can put it around your waist. Well, anyway, my waist is small. So I couldn't put it around my waist. It kept falling down. So I put it like on my um, shoulders. And it's so good. And uh, I can't go no-handed for long. Only when he's like worn himself out a bit. Because he'll pull me over. But it's really good. Honestly. Anyway. I'm over the park. I'm right, sorry, <laughs> I'm so disgusted. No, it's really real here. I'm spitting back again. But I'm thinking I'm on my own, mate. You're not even here. <laughs> right. So I was over the park. And then I um, I was giggling with the dog. So I do have a good time with the dog. So we got, anyway, I could feel someone staring at me. Because I'm very intuitive. So I um, was giggling away. And I went like that. And as I smiled, my ex's girlfriend was there. Watching me playing with my dogs. Going. So I didn't actually notice her at first. I didn't know it was her until I saw her dog. And then I knew. So I um, carried on doing what I was doing. Didn't say nothing. No, yeah, she walked off. So anyway, she looked well. <laughs> Smiling at me. I don't think she knew it was me. Oh, look at my angels come through. Did you see that? And yeah, I don't think she knew it was me. But I wasn't horrible. Even though she bullied me all last year, sitting in town laughing at me. But that's her problem, not mine. But um, she's not the one that was really against me. It was his wifey kind of girlfriend. She's got a few, my ex has. Mm. There was three at the time. One of the neighbours next door, she used to run around naked. She was a lunatic. And now we know why, because it was him, because he was drugging her. And um, he, he was sleeping with her as well. Only young. She was younger than my daughter. And she used to run around screaming. And when I used to go in there, I used to hear her screaming, banging her head on the wall. And he used to go, oh, bloody nutcase next door. She's always standing there in her clothes. But fixed my mental health, Kel. My mental health and that. Yeah. Got me to call the police on her. Yeah. Seriously. And he was with her. How nice is that? And then obviously while he was going with her, he was drugging me in his flat. And then obviously I was going mad screaming. He was probably telling everyone I was a lunatic as well. So we all ran around screaming. Oh, he was loving it. Oh, loving it. Evil, evil man. Seriously. He shouldn't even be on the planet. And then now he's with uh, the bird up the road. is two sandwiches short of a picnic, mate. I just want somebody to love me. She come up to me once when I was at work. Couldn't believe it. I've seen her around, my angels, I've seen her around, and she went, are you giving my bloke crap? I went, I, I know, I know, the angels must have told me, so I went, and who's your bloke then? I knew what she was going to say. She said his name, I went, I've been with him three years, probably nearly four years. She was like, what? I went, how long have you been with him? She went, three weeks. I went, oh, we've been on the break that long. I said, don't worry, you're not the only one. Let me take you next door, I'll show you the other bird that he's sleeping with. Oh, yeah, she was like... No, 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 I don't believe it. I've been with him, blah, blah. And I was oh, I said, you know what? Get on with it. I said, anyway, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad he downgraded. <laughs> I put a post on for you a little while ago. Did you see it? Listen, we are humble enough to know we are replaceable, but we are cocky enough to know that they were downgrades, all right? And don't you forget it. <laughs> Seriously, don't forget it. They were downgrades, mate. They love trifling mess because they're run by the devil. But, but there you go, did you do the train then? Confirmation, confirmation. You had downgrades, love, don't worry. It ain't about you, it's about them. And seriously, 
these people didn't feel nothing for us and they didn't. And I know we think we did and they sold us an illusion that we they did, but they didn't. They didn't. They felt we were like a surprise. All they did was treated every one of us the same as they treated everyone they were with. They had the same conversations. They played the same music. They played, everything was the same. They d bought the same takeaways. They took them to the same restaurants, whatever they did. They said the same old spill, the same old chat up line, probably said the same thing. I even asked her once, I was in town, and I did, uh, she was crying, and I'm a nice person, old Dibby Kerry. So I went up to her and went, what's the matter? You're like, no, oh, you're making me cry and all this crap. She's very slow, the girl that he's with now, very slow. She's probably like a 12-year-old, that's what he likes. And, um... So I sat there and I gave her a cuddle. I actually gave her a cuddle because I'm a loving person. But I didn't want, I don't like seeing anybody cry. Even though you stole my bloke. But he didn't, she didn't steal him. That's the thing. At the time, I thought she stole him, but she didn't. He was everyone's bloke. So I was the other woman. I was the other woman. I thought I was the main one. She was the other woman. She probably thought she was the main one. And his wife around the corner, she's supposed to be the main, main one. And then he's got another bird in the village next to me. That was another one. There must have been about eight of us. There's probably about eight now. He ain't even that good looking. It's because he's got a bit of a, uh, can talk the talk. Anyway, I sat with her, yeah, and gave her a cuddle. And she was going, oh, I'm about crying and all that. That's me. That's me. Seriously. Terrible, isn't it? Anyway, yeah, so we was all swelled, and that was what I was getting at. So I asked her little things like, what does he call you? And that, oh, it broke my heart. I'm not going to lie to you. It broke my heart when she said what he called her, like nicknames. They were the same nicknames he gave me. You probably resonate with this. I know um, it is horrible. It's really horrible to think that we was just a supply. We were like a, there was a chain, like say a necklace and a necklace with links on, and we were just all links. And we weren't nothing, none of us were the pendant. None of us were that special. They thought they was dependent. Seriously. So don't worry if you've got... Um, well, you do worry. Of course you do. But you know what I mean? I'm trying to make light of it. But it was downgraded. And then they were stuck with the worst ones that they had to, the pick of the bunch with. <laughs> Seriously. And soon they'll have no one and they'll be on their own. And that'll be their karma. Because you know what? A narcissist's fear, male or female, is to never be on their own. And that will be their karma. And, uh, yeah, so I just thought I'd share my little life with you because I am a collective like you and I do resonate with you and I know what you're going through. Don't get me wrong, I still sit here and cry sometimes. I don't cry because I want him back. I cry because of being sold an illusion and, um, like, being sold a fairy tale that I believed in and I feel a bit silly sometimes and I do because I'm a very intelligent woman but my mind was taken away from me and I was obviously being drugged so I didn't know what I was doing. But, um, yeah, I do sit there and cry sometimes because I just think, what, like, you do think it's not fair. But it was fair because, you know what, when you look at these people, mate, you think, oh, thank God, thank the Lord that the Lord took us away from these people because um, we must have had poo in our eyes. Seriously. We didn't see what other people saw. We didn't see what God saw. And I just feel like saying this to you because I think about the way back. That's why I jumped on. And um, you do get hurt. And if people say, well... Like, my son said it, not now, but before. Why do you worry? Look at the state of him. But, do you know, it didn't mean anything to me that he didn't have no money when I was with him. It didn't mean anything to me that he was a bit of a state because we were quite opposite. And I quite liked his messiness and that because it was different than what I had. It's stupid, isn't it? But don't worry if you have off days and you do feel a bit bad. I know some of you probably think, I don't care, but deep down you probably do because that illusion, it's not nice to be sold an illusion, and it's not. Who's crying? I think it's Gypsy. I've just fed her as well. You have to stay there a minute, darling. It's because she's on her blob. If you don't that mean she's in season, I've just got a way of talking. I'm terribly annoyed. Oh, look, suck the fag. It's like a prison roll up. This is a... <laughs> I had to have a cigarette. I'm so sorry because I've just got in. We're nine minutes in and I ain't shut up. Oh, and I found out why I talk fast. It's because I've been with a narcissist. I was really worried. Why do I talk so fast? I notice it when I play it back. It's like I pressed forward a little bit. And it's not because I get hyper. It's because I, um, I've i been with a narcissist and I could never get a word in. And I was always cut mid-sentence. And it really makes sense now. I really love analysing myself and knowing why I do certain things. Because I do notice, because obviously I'm observing myself more now, because I'm looking after myself. This might resonate. 
and I do talk very quickly. I do. Well, I'm not going to apologise. It's not my fault. And I've been told that um, it's because I was with a narcissist and I was never heard. And my ex used to try and like let me talk, and then he'd walk off. He'd do it all the time. Or if I stand there talking to people when we was out, I go, "Oh yeah, yeah, this is." And I go to say his name, and it, he'd look about that big, where he's walked so far away. He just used to walk off, and it was really embarrassing. I used to find it quite rude to explain why he walked off a bit, but he did it on purpose, so I'd have to explain. And that's why I talk fast, apparently. Yeah, I was told the other day, because um, I used to always try and say what I had to say and get it out because no one listened to me. I always felt ignored and I always felt like what I what I said was never important. So I've been told to slow down and like, there's no rush and, like, you're listening to me, obviously. You can always cut me off if you don't like me, but no one's, like, walking away from me now. Yeah, it's really, I, I love it learning about myself because um, it is a problem, me talking fast. It's like I've got verbal diarrhoea. <laughs> it is. Right, so let's have a look. I fancy doing the, um, I know you don't want to know about the exes, but because I've seen my exes other half, we're going to have a little nose. So if you don't like it, it might not be your other half. It could be your sister, your daughter. It could be like a neighbour. It can be a friend. It's just I do it based on an ex, but it doesn't always come up that. Sometimes it comes up daughter. Oh, that's the point. I'm drawn to these. Mm. I'm glad my angel's coming. Because I said to him yesterday, I felt they hadn't come in. I had a clear out as well. Oh, did I? I gave my neighbour my wardrobe downstairs because um, she's a single mum, so she had a um, got the neighbours to come and um, pick it up for her, so she's got my wardrobe, I can't talk, sorry, I can talk, <laughs> for Britain, mate. I um, Yeah, so I gave her my wardrobe, my tumble dryer is broken anyway, what he dumped on me, he used to dump his old crap on me, to get his, he used to give all his wife and his girlfriends the best stuff, and I used to get all the leftovers, <laughs> exactly. So I got rid of my tumble dryer that he dumped on me, that didn't work, just left it up here. I got rid of my fireplace as well. That's outside, council picking it up. And I got a dining room table given to me by my neighbours, a nice one that folds out so I can fold it down. And then um, it don't take up as so much space. So I'm going to make my other room my dog's room. And um, it's getting cold now. And my dog, Karma, was in the kitchen last night on his um, bed that someone so kindly sent me from Amazon. Thank you so much. He loves his bed that you got him. I've got angels around me. Hello, angels. Good morning. I've been praying all night. I woke up praying, and I um I put on YouTube the um the prayers channel while I was sleeping. It's nice because I felt like God was talking to me all night. I see Gemini here, guys. If that resonates, but I'm going to get on the road. Sorry, it's twelve minutes in, but it is laid out bare. Someone's not in the limelight anymore. Oh, hang on, this has just fell out like that. Sick. So somebody's sick. Sorry about the nails. Someone's sick. So a Gemini could be sick. <clears throat> Feel sick. They could be sick to the stomach. Guide me, angels. I'm just sorting my cards out. It is real here, guys. I don't have no preparation or anything like that. But I'm drawn to this. I was just on the way home. I thought I'm going to do my little white cards because these are good for me. I do tend to read these really well for you. Please don't lose hope. Right. So someone might be losing hope here. Hopefully it's not you. I must clean up in here today. <clears throat> right, it's such a sort out. My place is upside down. And it is. Oh, that, that, that's dust there. They're not. That is there. That's dust. That's not. Did you see the angel go through there? And angels, hey, that one's not either. Come on. Here they go. Hi, angels. Here they go. Hello. <laughs> I love it when you're. Oh, you're around me now. I know. I felt you walking home with me. Look at them coming in. I love you so much. Oh, I'm tingling all over. Here we go. Oh, I can feel you. I can feel you. Yeah, because I got guided like, by my angels to get my white cards out on the way home. So, angels, if you don't mind guiding me through this um, read, please. I thought that was Dustin. It's not. Look. Hey. So, I might get an... Oh, I'm really cold. I might get angels coming for you. Yep, yeah, look. Hi, angels. So, this might be your angels as well that are with me, that have guided me, because I'm getting surrounded. I'm tingling all over. Thank you for coming in. I really do appreciate it because I know that you've kept me on my own for a couple of days. And um, I know I had to. So the angels have come in. Oh, guys, we're so blessed to have these angels in here like this. And we really are. And I'm so glad that I'm chosen. Look at them around my head. Look, 
I love you so much. I'm so glad that I'm chosen to do this for you because I'm only here to help you and I'm only here to make you feel like you're not alone. And um, people don't believe me that I'm chosen, but I am chosen to do this. And I was chosen to come on here just to give you a bit of hope and don't lose hope. Please don't. They're running around me. I can feel it. I'm tingling all over. So if I shout any names out, um, it could be your ancestors. And um, we're busy today with angels, look. So I'm very grateful to you, angels, for guiding me. We're going to get a good read. We are. See, I talk to you for a reason. It brings them in. And they like it when I'm talking. Because so I had a little chat with them yesterday. I was like, I don't feel like you're here. I feel like I'm on my own. But they obviously left me to clear up and that and get on. Oh, that was so lovely. I love the feel of them when they come in. Here they are. Hi. <laughs> we got visitors today. I love it. Can you see them, guys? Look, they're all around, all around my head. So these are for you as well, guys. Look, they are here. I can't talk when the angels are here because I just love their presence when they're here. And they're here for you as well. Look, they're all around me. So, angels, thank you. Guide me, please. Keep me safe and help me with the messages for the collective. And um, I do thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. And I thank you for all the protection you give me, all the love and support and just being here for me. And you as well, collective. Thank you, angels, okay? Because they do do a lot for us. There they go. <laughs> I feel so giggly when they're here. I do. I feel like I've got a couple of young ones in here. I might have some young angels. If come through if you're young. Yeah, look. Uh, look, I got, I've got young, I can feel them, very young, or young at heart, I'm tingling all over, sorry guys, I can't talk when they come in, it makes it, it overwhelms me a bit, it does, because I'm so, like, I'm honoured to have them here, right, so let's begin, so keep an eye out, because they are definitely here today, and I'm very grateful, I know I'm going on, but I don't know what to do when they come in, because it's so lovely, and it's so beautiful, and you are so um, blessed to see them with me. You really are. So, I'm supposed to be doing a karmic read to have a little note. So, someone's sick. So, someone's losing hope, guys. And they are. Someone's losing hope over you. Now, this can be... They might have friends that are now... Um, you had friends that were very negative. Or this person hangs around with people that are very negative, And they try and ruin everything. So somebody might be losing hope and feeling sick because they've ruined everything because of their friends. Now, this person could have also stopped these people, sorry, these friends, guide me angels, these people that your person hung around with, all relative, whatever, they have done something to ruin this. And it's ruined this person manifesting with you. I'm getting in my head is tingling. It is cruel in my head. So we're on the right track here. So people that this person hangs around with are very negative and they've got no self-worth. And someone has stolen something. So they could have stolen this person from you or just start, this person is, is sick because they couldn't steal from you and they've lost hope in stealing from you. So you know your story. I just tell you the energies and what I'm reading, okay, guys? So be careful because this could be a friend who's very sick and um, this person's got more children than you know about or could have more families than you know about with friends or like I said, it could be anyone you're dealing with. So I always get dodgy when there's cars pulled down in because I've seen my ex's blooming girlfriend. Right, so someone might want to give you a heartfelt gesture or... They did have a heart for you, like, but someone's ruined it. So they might have friends that are just very negative, didn't want this person to have anything with you. They could have told this person a lot of lies about you. It could be someone who they got children with. Now, someone could have said something about your children, but it wasn't true. I'm getting that. Right, so this person is very demanding, very pushy. We get this a lot. They might push their way in when they was around you or just pushed you, like, just just very like a bully. So this person might want to, to start it up with you again and give you a heartfelt gesture. So I'm feeling someone's ruined something for someone to manifest or this person ruined it for you. Now, I do repeat myself because I have to try and guide it so I don't get it wrong. 
So someone wants to start things up with you again. So they either want to start things up by trying to stop you manifesting or start it up to get back with you. So it's only an energy. This person's blocked from you, by the way. So like every time I say it's only energy, that's confirmation. This person's blocked. It's just how they're feeling. That's all. That's all tarot is, just a confirmation on what you're going through. And I'm going cold, so the angels might be coming back in again, guys. Angels, are you here? I can see a big rainbow on my TV. Yeah, either. I can feel them coming in. Oh, thank you so much, angels. I really do appreciate it. I love it when you come in. Like, they do take a bit of energy, because obviously they come in from the energy of my lights and my tablet. That's what I feel. I'm going really cold, guys. Here they are. <laughs> Hi, y'all. Uh, so, if I get any names, because I'm tingling, and I say anything a bit peculiar, it might be for you, okay? Whoa. So, right, so someone tried to stop you building your life. But by them throwing stones at you, you built a castle. So you was the trap. So this person feels sick because you was the trap to set this, to stop, sorry, not set this person up, to stop this person setting you up. So basically the universe used you as a trap. So you could get in high energy because this person didn't make you in very high energy. They didn't. So this person might be realising that you are in a very high energy now and they want to come in and try and start something up with you again. This person might feel like they're losing hope with having a chance with you. Like I said, their friends could have ruined it. They could have made them sick. They could have said that you were sick, like sick as in an illness, or you were just a sick person you might have had, like they might have said you had mental health like just lied about being sick it's either they're sick or you were sick so we'll see give me a minute because it does take me a while to warm up sometimes so someone tried to stop you moving forward they wanted you to lose hope they wanted you sick they didn't want you in a high energy thank you angels and they didn't want you to manifest something because they didn't want you to start something up it could have been like a business it could have been just for you to just have hope in general your name might be hope this person, like I said, they um, they won't have it any other way. They want it their way. Their way or the highway. And they just get very demanding. This person ruins everything. They do. This comes up a lot. They ruin parties. They ruin weddings. Your mother's day, your father's day. His family gets together. They just don't like it. They like you sad so everyone feels that they're happy. So this could be coming out about this person. Right, so let's see. Angels and ancestors. Right, someone feels very lost. They got anxiety and they're feeling scared now and they're feeling tired because of what they've done to try and jeopardise things with you. That's what I'm feeling. So someone thinks that you're sad. I think someone's getting the wrong idea about you, thinking that you might want them back, I'm feeling. So it could be someone who's, yeah, confused. Someone's confused, thinking that you're sad. They're probably hoping that you're sad. This person might have said to you, oh, it's okay not to be okay. That's what I'm feeling. So someone, it's their opinion that you're sad. So you're in high energy, but this person thinks that you're sad. Well, I'm trying to get down those guys, so bear with me. So someone's hoping that you're missing them. Are you? I don't know. You might be. So yeah, this might be right. So it depends on how you feel, only you know. So this person could be feeling a bit of guilt. Right, so someone is thinking that you're sad. Or someone could have made you feel sad. And maybe it wasn't okay not to be okay with this person I'm getting as well. It could have given you anxiety. February the 2nd. We've got a date come up for you. So it could be number two or just February. All right, so this person likes to ruin everything. I think this person's knowing now that through ruin everything, they've lost hope in it all now. Right, so only time will tell. This person might be thinking, hoping that over time you become sick, I wanted to say. Or maybe you wanted to, over time, you would have come back to this person. Right, this person likes... Um, this person likes you to take on their stress, I'm feeling. They like it. They do. They like to um, give you stress. So you take on other people's stress. You might just take on other people's stress in general. Right. So you've got someone coming in towards you. 
Yeah, so it says you've got new energy coming in, but I don't know because this isn't a new energy that I'm feeling. So these are my first cards I made, so I do apologise about the writing. You won't be I've got to make new ones. So now you now have new energy coming in, it says. It's not the light, it's my cards. Right, we'll leave that over there because I don't feel it. So this person might want to come in and ruin stuff for you because they know that you're manifesting and now they're feeling sick about it. This person wants to feel your love again. I'm only the messenger, guys, all right? Sending energy. Right, so someone may know that you're rested now, like you've had quite a long time away from this person, I'm feeling, after this person maybe made you sick. And um, someone wants to start a new day with you. Now, someone might like your smile, or they might see that you're happier now without them, I just got. Right, so someone wants to feel your love again. So we'll have a little shuffle, guys, and see what comes out. So I hope you have a good day. Like I always tell you, be positive. Don't get carried away with this energy, because with this person, it's just, it. they always do this, I feel like, and I do. Right, someone's hoping that you haven't closed your heart off to them. They are. But this person, it's like a ripple effect with this person. They do this all the time. Or one minute they're up, one minute they're down. Take it as it fits. Or, I don't know, I feel this person to and fro. So I always get this. It is like a ripple effect with this person, and it is. So someone might be hoping that you don't close off your heart to them, or that you haven't. And this person might come in a little bit smiley, hoping that you're sad and that um, you've missed them, I'm feeling. And over time, you might still have your heart open for this person, but this person ruins things, and they do. Now, they do want to start it up again, and they did try and stop you rebuilding, like what you was doing. So let's have, I've got Virgo just come out then. It is what it is. Right, so this person is only doing this because they're in debt. So they're either in debt, it says they're in spiritual debt. So this person's feeling it now. I think this person's feeling it, not like it is what it is, like crap. It is what it is now. Like they they haven't felt like this before, I don't think. Yeah, look, my angels are here. So we're on the right line here, guys. So this person is in debt. Oh, I'm tingling. Angels come in, please. So this person is in spiritual debt. Yes, they are, for what they've done to you. So they will be feeling it now that I don't feel this is like I normally say it is what it is. I think this person knows that this is what it is now. They are going to be like in a lot of trouble and they can feel it. And they know that this is happening because of what they've done, like ruining everything for you, ruining other people's days as well. So this person is very, very pushy. They might come in and tell you that they love you, this person. Now, they, don't worry because you've got God behind you and God has blessed you and he's blessing you and your family and he's helping you to heal, all right? So you are highly protected and you are. So God's going to heal you, your family, or already is. So let's have a little shop. I'm really cold, guys. My angels are here. It's all right, angels. Come in, loveys. I love it when they come. I'm so glad they came in for us. I really am grateful. And um, I think it's because I, I was doing my prayers all night, like with the prayer thing on, because I'm not great at praying. I'm not. I always apologise to God because um, sometimes I'm just not good at praying. Right, you could have a thigh tattoo or this person. And I just saw Virgo again. Right, this is a um, narcissist. So this person is caught up in a web of lies. Bad energy. Right, this narcissist is literally caught up in a web of lies about how they tried to ruin you, how they stopped you manifesting, how they took time off you, how they wasted your time, how this person made you very sad. And they're realising now that they're getting older and they're ageing and they're not looking as pretty as they did. Now, they might have been very handsome or very pretty. Now, this person, you starved this person because of all the lies. 
you might have been caught up in a load of lies with this person. This person could have told a lot of lies on you. But I feel this person is caught up in a lot of lies now because this person tried with you, really tried, not tried to be good, tried to destroy you. Now, many have tried and many have failed. Now, I feel that with you, with this person, you've put this person in their place. And I do. And the, um, the narcissist doesn't like it. I think this person, like... um. I don't know. I just feel like you've starved this person of energy, and you have this person. Oh, love bomb! I knew this. So I've got itch nose because I've got energy around me. <laughs> right. So somebody feels like you're starving them, and um, you used to feed this person's ego or their energy. You used to give them energy. You used to get this person in a high energy. This person just lies about everything. All right. So this person is caught up, and they are. And they feel like, they might even feel like they're, uh, like, dying. They might even be starving where they haven't got any money, where everything's gone a bit thingy. My voice is going a bit funny as well. <clears throat> so this person, like I said, I don't like to throw the word about, but they are a narcissist and they are ageing fast. Now, the reason they're ageing fast is because they're now spiritually, like, I wouldn't say contaminated. This person is not going to have a very good time for it now because of what they did to you. Now, this person wants to come in and love bomb you, and they do. If you don't know what love bomb means, it means come in and just tell you how much they care about you and how much they missed you and how much they want to try and they failed with you, and it's all a lie. It's all a lie. They just come in like boom out of nowhere because some people don't know what love bomb is and they don't. I was quite surprised. A lot of people don't. So be careful, guys. Many have tried and many have failed. So I think some, maybe people have tried to take this person down before and they failed. Well, you haven't. You haven't because you've got protection of your angels. So like I said, be careful because they want to come in, show you love and love bomb you because they know that they're in debt spiritually. And from the angels, it is what it is. This person's getting their just desserts, all right? And they will age because they might have wanted you to age. They might have wanted you not to be as pretty or as handsome. Right, someone wants to start making new memories with you. Oh, dear. Right, they're flipping, they're flipping. Yeah, because this person, with this person, be careful, all right? Because this person caused you a lot of pain, and the pain with you is now over. Now, things finish as quick as they start with this person. They do. This person wants to rush in and love bomb you. Let me leave them there a minute so I can take my time. Right. So things will finish very quickly. That's what this person's like. They could have finished with you quickly before they finish as quick as they start, mate. You start making new memories of this person and then they're off. That's what I feel like. They come in, take your energy, feed themselves, maybe take all your food as well. You might even feed this person. They're very greedy. And then they smile in your face and then start trying you again. Literally trying to wind you up, trying to get you in pain, being very pushy, demanding, and then they bugger off. Now, the pain is over for you, okay? And you are a lot braver than you realise. And you had to be really brave with this person. Right, so, whatever this person's done, they have wrongly accused you. Now, this person talks a lot. they got a mouth on them. They have. And everything they say about you is actually wrong. And they do love to chat, this person. So I'm going to put my legs up because I'm getting old. And i done a bit of stretching last night. and nearly got myself in a position where I couldn't get out of it. <laughs> got a stretch, guys. So have you. Because I felt a little bit stiff. Like, I feel like I had a bit of energy trapped in me. This might resonate. So this person has wrongly accused you. <sighs> now... You are being wrongly accused as well of something. Now, you had to be very brave with this person, and you did. Yeah, I think you had to be very brave to get rid of this person because you found out that this person was smiling in your face all the time, and all they did was love bomb you. Now, this is what they want to do again. So this is a ripple effect. They're doing it again, over and over again. It's The energy doesn't change, guys, because this person doesn't, all right? But don't worry, you're highly protected. Now, so this person could have accused you of something which put you in a lot of pain, told lies to other people about you. That's what I want to get on this. Right, your place is secured by God, 
okay? Seriously, you are fine. So just so we know, I'm being guided to tell you, whatever's happening in this reading, if you're in a safe place and this person really did do a number on you and you feel like, oh, I don't want them anywhere near me, blah, blah, don't worry, okay? Like I said, we're just having a nose. You are fine. You're healing. You're protected. Angels are watching you. This is just what they want to do, all right? It might be different in a couple of weeks' time. These people are like, I want to put them cards over there, out the way for some reason. So you're out the way. I felt like putting them over there. So you're safe. God's picked you up. That's what I feel like, like that. My light was really flashing then. I feel like God's picked you up and put you somewhere safe because you might be in a safe house. You might just be in a safer place in your mind because for some reason I'm going to do it as well. I want to put these over there on my other table because I'm guided to. So you're way over here, yeah? This person's over here. You're over there. Don't worry. It's what I'm feeling like that. You're fine. Right, guys, okay? So... People are realising on the outside that this all looks good with this person because this person's very good at, like, blagging. got crows outside my window. So, yeah, I've got a lot of birds outside my window. So this person might be around a lot of birds or birds of a feather flock together, I'm feeling to say. So this person knows that your pain is over. But I feel this person's in pain and everyone's not realising because they try and cover it up quite well, this person does. Now, this person accused you of something. Now, you could be a Virgo. I knew it. I knew I could feel Virgo because Virgo kept coming out. When I was shopping, I see Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. I knew it. I just knew I could feel Virgo. So some of you are Virgo or this person is a Virgo, all right? So we've got September the 9th. September the 9th, all right? Or number nine, you could live out, or number nine's a lucky number, but 9th is September's light of the month, okay? I knew it, Virgo. And I know it's a Virgo because I'm September the 10th. So I, I could feel that. I kept seeing it when I was shuffling. I get so excited because I think, oh, there's Virgos watching because I love Virgo. <laughs> the only Virgo, I do. I'm a Virgo. And then, um, right. So if we got a Virgo you don't like, don't worry. Every sign can be an a-hole and every sign can be lovely, all right? Seriously. So this person feels familiar to you or you feel familiar to them. That's why they want to come back in. Right, so you're asking the divine at the moment what to do, but this person wants your platform. So you could be a tarot reader. You could be just higher up than this person. You could have done a lot of work on yourself. And this person wants your platform. Well, guess what? God says no. They can't have your platform because they ain't done the process. They have not done any healing whatsoever. And I feel really strongly to say this. This person trauma bonds people. So they got traumas and they go with people through trauma bonding. All right. So that's what this person's been doing or maybe still feel. I think this person feels you're still the same. Oh, I felt something on my arm. Oh, my God. <laughs> this person feels you're in the same energy as you used to be. Because this person can't change, they feel like you haven't changed. So they're thinking that you're sitting there still the same. They probably know that, like, I don't know, you've got a job, say, for instance, or whatever, you're getting on better, you might have moved. But this person mentally thinks you're the same as you were whenever they left you, split up with them, whatever. So this person, you might have had a trauma bond with this person. This person might feel traumatic that they're not bonding with you because you don't want them, because you blocked them. And you don't want a trauma bond anymore. This person's got a lot of problems that they haven't healed. And they haven't. But this person wants your place. They want your position. They want what you've got. And they've said a lot of lies about all this. And they have. So we've got February the 2nd or 2. So it could be two of you. You could have two kids. So we've got February and September. February. I don't know if that's Aquarius. I don't know. I'm not an astrologer. I only know the signs that I know. So we've got February... Let me just pick that Ah, I've got now, so I can do it easier. All right, they're the dates that we've got come up. I hope you're getting this, guys. So, your mindset is everything at this moment. Keep moving forward. You are learning new things. You are expanding. You are growing. You're talking to the universe. God's given you a platform. If you haven't got a platform, get a platform started, okay? This person is damaged beyond repair. All right? Oh, I'm going cold. Angels, come in, please. This person's damaged, like, mentally damaged. 
this person's got mental health issues, okay? This person might not be the same person as what you was in a relationship with, whether it's sister, brother, auntie, or uncle, whatever, right? This isn't the person I don't want to, I feel like I can't talk at the minute. <clears throat> this person's damaged. This is them, not you. I was going to say, is it you that was damaged beyond repair? And I'm told, no, this is them. them they're damaged, all right? So this person is damaged now beyond repair because this person's been in a relationship which has now given them mental health. Health. I want to say Heath then, Heath. That might be your name, Heath. You might live on a Heath. H-E-A-T-H, -H, Heath. All right, so this person's damaged. Now, they might have gone with someone else and because of their lies, manipulation, being with their friends, being negative, them and their friends trying to ruin you, I'm getting... Yeah, stopping you from moving forward, trying to stop you. Maybe you went without food. Maybe you couldn't have any food. You could have had something you was growing and they ripped it all up and ruined it. I'm feeling this person didn't want you to live. This person didn't want you to grow. They didn't even want you to eat. They wanted you to D.I.E. And they did. And I'm feeling very, very like this is why my voice is going. <clears throat> this person might have strangled you or something or choked you. Or you might have felt really choked about this. This person tried to destroy you. <clears throat> oh, take that off me, angels, please. It's not nice. <clears throat> I really feel like I couldn't breathe then. Right, this person's damaged. They might have shouted so much, they might have lost their voice, I'm feeling, as well. Woo! Right, so your mindset's everything. Keep moving forward. I'm going to put that over there, because that's where you are, over there. You're right over there. I feel like you're very far away from this person, even mentally or physically. And I am going over a little bit, guys, because I'm not guided to stop yet, all right? So if you don't like the long reads, I apologise. But it's the way it is, okay? Because we had the angels come in and I had a chat with you. It's not actually a longer read as you think. So, oh, right. This person's very damaged. So like I said, they might not be how you remember. And I do repeat myself, I'm sorry. I'm allowed to. I can repeat myself. That's another thing from being with a narcissist. Apparently you repeat yourself a lot because you think you're not heard. It's all, all making sense now. <laughs> Why I'm so annoying. Can't help it, babe. I'm damaged beyond repair as well. No, I'm not. I'm repairing. Bad energy. Right. I wanted to do that then, like eating. I reckon this person tried to starve you. This person didn't even want you to have money to eat. I just went to go like that. You might do a bit of sign language. Right. So, this person, I don't think this person likes the fact that you're beautiful or you're better looking than this person. That's what I feel like. But this person, this could be family or they just feel very familiar to you. But they are very damaged, this person, very mentally this is them, not you. They, they've damaged as well their relationship that they're in now beyond repair or they do it every relationship they're in because all they do, thank you, angels, is love bomb everybody, smile in their faces at the same time. This person tries this with everyone, so they bully everybody I'm getting. There's crows outside my window. It's mad. Don't let me get this many crows. I normally get magpies and that. Virgo, what did I say? Virgo. So you could be dealing with Virgo or that could be your actual birthday, guys. Jen Free Free, my little friend. She's um, the ninth. But I always know your birthday. <laughs> I do. Because she's the ninth for nine the tenth. Yeah. So I always think of Jen Free Free, Empress Jen. Oh, so, someone's trying to play it safely. They might have a tattoo sleeve or you might have a tattoo sleeve. Oh, I've gone really cold. Not in a good way, guys. This ain't angels. This feels like cold, cold. This person's cold. This person, I don't think this person plays it very safe, mate. So, someone you're dealing with or you have got a tattoo sleeve. Be careful. This person's trying to play it safe. They're trying to play it safe. They try and play it safe, like, as in, like, every relationship they're in. Yeah. They're not safe, though, this person. They're not. I went very, whoa. They just, cards have just flown out there. Central. So you might live somewhere that's very central. You could drink somewhere that's called the central, okay? But you're very beautiful. And that's come out twice now for you. You are you are very beautiful. So you are very central to this person now. I think this person's realising how strong you are and how 
hard you work and um, you've got a lot of self-control. So you're like 10 toes down, as in central, centre. So this person knows now how strong you are, but this person is re very hurt about this. The per this person doesn't like it because you're strong. Now, you might be central to this person, as in, like I said, very central. You could live in central, like central is in a town or city, or, like I said, central. We've got a place around here called central, but that's what I mean. It's like you could be, it could be like a snooker place or something like that. Right. Or this is very, I feel like this is very central to this person. You're central. I have to keep repeating myself because I'm trying to get more on the card, okay? So this person knows that you're ten toes down. You're working. You're concentrating on yourself. You're just thinking about yourself, how to control yourself. You're moving forward, and this person doesn't like it. Oh, no, they don't. This person doesn't like it because you know now that you are beautiful. Not this person knows you're beautiful. You know your worth. You know how beautiful, like man or woman, you're beautiful or handsome, doesn't matter, I do for men and women here. So this person knows how concentrated on you, you are. Nothing is stopping you now, guys, all right? This, I'm putting you over there with your nice palm, not mixing you with this person. This person's hurt that you're, you're getting better in yourself, and I'm going cold. This person knows there's nothing stopping you. No, there's nothing stopping you now. And it's hurting this person because they can't stop you. Over there. <laughs> Seriously, get over there. Right, so you're praying, talking to God, talking to Jesus, talking to your spirits, talking to your angels. You're very um, intuitive as well. You are meditating. You might be just breathing. You might be just walking along, going for walks, and you feel astral meditation, all right? That's what you're doing. Right, so you're being your own best friend and you need to carry on doing this, okay? This person is not happy because you're your own best friend. Maybe you're safe with being your own best friend. You love yourself, no, and you do. You're giving yourself love. You could be a Virgo. I've got purple again. You could also be a healer. So you're literally being your own best friend and you're healing yourself and you might like purple a lot. You might even wear, I see an angel, and you might even wear a purple heart pendant. All right, my ear is itching there, tiggling. Angels coming before we finish because I'm going to finish soon. Right, so you're being your own best friend. You might like a bit of coffee. I feel like you do like a bit of coffee. So we're putting you over there. There's no stopping you now. You're moving forward. You're looking beautiful. You've got a platform. Your mindset is everything now. God's blessing you. And oh, I've got a blooming spider there. Get back. Right, so and I don't kill them anymore, anyone watching me, because I used to kill them, and no, I don't now. I just flick them on the floor, and I'll get a couple out and throw them out. I'm getting really good, and I? So, you might like spiders. Right, and your place in heaven is secured. And I've got energy when I'm going to sneeze. Oh. <coughs> oh, as soon as I said spider. Woo! Right, 4736. So... That's about it, guys. <laughs> Seriously, that's it. You know this anyway, okay? It just confirms what you already know. But, angels, thank you for coming in. Oh, please thank the angels in the comments for coming in because these are your angels and mine. You're guided here because your angels guide you here. Angels guide me to what to do. That's why when I went out, I saw my ex's girlfriend and it just all tallies on because I was going to do a positive read and then I thought, I don't really want to do karmic, but I don't feel... Karmic in. I don't feel annoyed that I've seen her because I'm with God and I love God and I have to love everybody from afar, no matter who they are, because otherwise I wouldn't be chosen. Okay? Didn't feel no malice towards her anyway. Do you know what I felt like a little bit when I saw her? I felt a little bit sorry for her. And I know people go, Oh, I want to put her. I do feel sorry for her because she's not mentally stable. She's a bit slow. I used to talk to her before he even got with her. Like uptown, I talked to everyone. And um she said to me one day, oh, I just want somebody to love me. And I went, No, love yourself. She didn't know what. I was talking about, she didn't have a clue. She said, I just want a man to love me. She likes older men as well, and they all have SEX with each other. I knew this before she even got with him that a lot of people go around there and sleep with her, and they all sleep together men and women, men and men, whatever. So I felt sorry for her because people like that get easily led, they get misled, they're a target, the same as I was a target, and I wasn't as strong as this when I was with this person. So you know what I mean? I didn't look like this either. And um, he destroyed me. So I don't have any malice towards her. 
and I did feel sorry for her, and I did. So please just have love for these people. Don't feel bad, like, as in hate. Please don't hate these people, because these people that they're with are being treated exactly the same as you. And, um, no, it's not nice, but it's a fact, and everybody is God's children, and hopefully these people will get away from these people, and then they can heal. And... Um, I do actually hope to God she gets away from this, this person because he, if I was as strong as I am and I survived, what would happen to her then if she's not as strong as me? And I wanted to commit suicide and jump off a bridge and wanted to take them out as well. So in a bad way. So, I mean, like what they did to me, all of them, and she laughed at me as well, but that's not for me to deal with. That's for God. I don't know why, but I feel like saying this to you. So if you have any hate or any malice against the people they're with, just feel sorry for these people, okay? And I do feel like saying that because I actually, as she walked off, I wanted to have a little, don't get me wrong, I'm human as well. I'm in a human skin. And I did go, oh, what are you smiling? I thought, no, Kerry, stop it. Because she was smiling and maybe she's having a real miserable time with him because I know when I was, I was very lost and alone and I had nobody. So I didn't feel malice. And that's why I don't feel in a bad mood now because um, I'm glad I walk with God and I'm glad that um, I've got love in my heart still, even though he tried to turn it to nothing so yeah so have a good day don't hate anybody all right you know what's going on you know your worth you're over there <laughs> you're you're right over there doing what you're you're far away from this person i feel not just living like the way you've traveled in yourself and the way you've grown you're right over there so it's only the background what's going on don't get too stuck in it this person might never come back again it's just their thoughts feeling it's just their energy today all right and i love you and i won't do a prayer today and i'm sorry it's gone over it's 51 oh look zero zero five one zero zero one ooh, ooh. have a lovely day if you like the video like it if you want to subscribe subscribe if you give me any donations i really do appreciate it and anyone who has thank you so much any amazon wish list you want to um get from me other dogs it's on my channel, just go to my page and it says Amazon Wishlist. Press the button and it'll take you straight there. And I'm very grateful. And I'm grateful if you just give me a like and give me a shout out or share my video, whatever. I'm just grateful. I'm always grateful because I love you and I love you being here. And have a beautiful day. And thanks for coming to my channel, channel. I nearly went the wrong way, wrong way. <laughs> I love you guys. Adios.